guys! It's time for another weekly plan with me. Um, I've been doing like a two-page weekly spread for a while now, um, and mostly these plan with me's have been kind of decorative, but I feel like I want to switch things up a little bit. I think part of it is um, helping my husband set up his minimalist bujo. Link in the corner to the video that I recently did discussing that with him. Um, and just some other things. I, I feel like I want to go a little bit minimalist with this week's setup and just do like a basic bujo. So um, this video is going to span a few days. I'm uh, recording this first bit on Sunday afternoon, setting up for tomorrow, and then I'm going to film some clips on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday before the video goes live on Thursday. So uh, I'm going to kind of just jump in. Uh, let's start with like a bit of a header. I'm already doing this, like I was, I've was. i been drawing my own weekly spreads on just grid paper. So I'm already on grid paper, I'll just go to the back of this one. Um, I'm thinking, I want like a quote or something. I should have picked a quote. Here we go. this. This is a message I want to tell myself, but I also, I don't know why I decided to try to write that in that space. It's not going to fit. All right. Um, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to live with it. I'm going to embrace it. That's the point. I'm just gonna be embracing it. This this says it's going to be okay. That's if you couldn't tell what I was trying to write. Um, basically, this is the week of. Put this here. Week of June eight through double triple checking eight through fourteen. All right. Here is just going to be a to-do list for the week as a place to start. So I'm going to pull that off of starting here with my monthly setup. Um, let's see, there's it's next week. Nothing here is for this week. So that's good for events. Um, for tasks, I have well the date-specific tasks I'll put on my Monday daily. I think I'm still gonna reference this front section throughout the week. Um, but some things here I want to do. Uh, this side. Father's Day gifts. It's kind of something I wanna discuss with my husband for our dads. And then buy gifts. I'll put those as separate so I can check things off. Uh, then I need to <laughs> look into seeing what I need to do to replace my driver's license because I think I've lost it. And uh, reorganize. And this here is like the project for the month, as it were. I'm going to uh, nail down party theme. And I don't know if there's going to be a party either. But my husband's aunt wants to make a cake and she wants to get started on it, so. Um, Basically, we have to decide, like, if she's picked a theme, then that's the theme we're going with. It's not like she's picked it. My mother-in-law had a conversation with Agnes, and I think we landed on 
butterfly, unicorn, dinosaur, Princess Sophia, Transformers. So um, basically, yeah, that's the conversation we need to have. It's, is it a girly party or just a toddler party? Uh, and then discuss birthday celebration. I don't even call it a party here. This needs to be with Gino. I'm gonna go ahead and, since there's two things on here that require conversations with the husband, I will circle those in blue. All right, so I have here sort of, uh, this is what I'm calling my nesting. I am feeling like I have a little bit more um, certainty about what's happening in my life, which is nice because I was told that I'm gonna be continuing to work from home until maternity leave. So that gives me a certain number of weeks. I'm counting down at this point. Um, it's going to be 10 weeks now. Uh, let's see. So I'm trying to work on like one little house nesting project uh, per week until then. Because once I'm on maternity leave, she's not going to be at the babysitter anymore. So. Um, once I am getting closer to my due date, we're going to do everything we can to lock everything down and really self-isolate for those few weeks because I do not want to test positive when I go into the hospital. Um, yeah. All right, is that... There's some things I put on here that need to get migrated over as well. Ended up calling our little cousin, our cousin's son turned four. We were gonna to try to video chat him, and it didn't happen. This is a today thing. This is a today thing. Um, this I still want to get done today, so I'm not gonna put it on next week's list yet. But these things here are. I just jotted these down because I didn't want to take up space on this page for things that I knew I wanted to put on my weekly already. So um, just feel like I need to. reorganize or at least reevaluate my project pages. I feel like the garden doesn't need its own section anymore. I'm pointing to the corner to remind myself to link up um, their video about those sections of like my planner pages that I decorated and reorganized. It was on camera last time. It's not going to be on camera this time. Um, Project pages. We are throwing a bridal shower for my brother and his fiance. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna happen or not. Maternity leave. What did I say here? Activities list. Yeah. I'm starting to feel a little bit of anxiety about keeping my daughter entertained while heavily pregnant in the house by myself and trying not to see anybody uh, because basically that's the plan is it's just going to be me because I don't want anyone else contaminating us and so uh, yeah I, I'm like trying to see if I can make a list of things to source and maybe put in like boxes or baggies of like all right this will entertain her for an hour uh, and hopefully things that I can do with her without me needing to pick up too much stuff or her or bend over or sit on the floor or, you know, maybe categories of things that she can do by herself. And while I, you know, make dinner or lunch or things that she needs my interaction with and that force me to like be present with her. Anyway, this is going to be my daily for Monday. Uh, Six, eight. That's right, good. I didn't get that wrong. I'm gonna check the weather real quick. Because I wasn't planning on using stickers, but. Let's see. Tomorrow is planning to be 91 and sunny. 
So I'm going to love a sticker. Because why not? Where are they? This is this sheet of stickers that uh, my toddler snatched off my desk and ran away giggling and then crumpled it into a in her fist. Um, fortunately, we managed to save them all, but I'm keeping them away from her. Anyway, there's the sun. You see 91 degrees? So that does affect things, you know? How much time I'm going to be spending outside doing gardening things or whatever. So I'm going to go back to here, got nothing on this page, but over here, I do want to weigh in, meaning I take my weight and blood pressure for records for my OB. Uh, I'm not going to flip through there because there's some stuff in that section you can't see. And then I think. That's pretty much it. It's a shower task, which means I want to go through this here. This is like, this were some notes. And then this here is sort of a list of things to do. Mostly the planning is happening on a Google Doc. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, start by just like, uh, just like, yeah. This is show project pages because I was trying to talk and write at the same time. Shower. Planning. Tasks. Because some of my contributions are coming due and I really want to make sure that I'm like on top of them so that I'm not stressed about it. And then... I think... Yeah. I know that for... This one here, I'm going to put a, maybe not, yeah, things that are going to be like sort of project-y, like, it's okay, it's okay if it doesn't get checked off yet, that doesn't mean that I'm not working on it, but also, like, try to focus on those and get them done, get them started sooner. Uh... Even though this isn't discussing with my husband, it's discussing with my mother-in-law, so I think it's a blue dot. Blue thingy too. Um, yeah. Order. Rug. Mat. Because we have a, a rug in our living room that keeps shifting around and we just have never bothered to, um, to get one of those, like, rubber mats that go underneath. And then I need to, yeah, look. driver's license replacement. So I kind of like the fact that there's a lot of duplication here because I really do like having a daily to-do list and if things are on a weekly I feel like why should I write it on a daily if it's already on the weekly but here it's all in one place and then at the end of the day I can go through and cross the things off that I did here as well. So anyway uh, that's what I'm doing. Maybe some other things as they come up. I'll, I can add to this as I go. Um, I also need to do Instagram photos for the week. All right. I think that that is everything uh, for this little clip, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm back. It's Monday afternoon, um, and I've done pretty good at um, checking off a lot of the things on this list. In order to get the most out of this, I had to promise myself that I wasn't going to explain everything that I was doing because it just, all of my inner mind workings, uh, I just don't feel like I want to explain them all, but you can still see them here. Um, there are some things on here that are just kind of notes, 
for like later on. I'm trying to do a bit more of the rapid logging thing. I'm also adding things to this weekly to-do list, which is now getting full. But what I haven't been doing today is really looking as much at this side. I've been focusing on checking off everything here. I'm still hoping to finish these last couple things and there's still room for me to add a couple more things if I want to this evening because I am going to go ahead and do my daily on the back of this page because this is almost full. So right now I just want to go over here and check um, the things that like I already did. So I looked into how to get my replacement driver's license. Um, and so the last, the next thing I need to do in that is to actually find my social security card. I am apparently all over the place. Uh, this still needs to be done. I sent a text about that, but that's fine. Started. Um, I did this. I, yeah, I added some more stuff. All right. So I'm not sure at this point when or where I will be putting my overflow weekly to-do list. I'll probably at some point just remake the entire thing so that it's all in one place because I'm feeling like I'm in that kind of a place where I just need my, like my brain needs things a certain way and I'm not going to try to convince it to work within any other kind of parameter. So here's the daily for Tuesday. It is again going to be sunny and this time 97 degrees which is great I really need to <laughs> let me put that here wait okay, yeah that's let's see okay first of all it's Tuesday Tuesday six nine I need to find a fan because uh, there's a ceiling fan in the office here. But for whatever reason, even if the living room is pretty cool, this office in the front, which is weird because it's south facing, um, it gets really warm. And since I'm working from home, I'm in here all day. So let's see, I need to do that. I need to I already put this here. I need to wash my bra. Uh, one of them. Let's see. Yeah. I think maybe I should go through tonight. Um, I wonder if we have time. I'm just gonna put Child of Serious Night. Or Child of Serious Night. Serious Night is a thing that my husband and I do. Basically, we just take topics that need like a uh, a boardroom meeting level type of discussion is not just like hanging out on the couch while we're watching a TV show but like sitting down at the table with a glass of Martinelli's and paper and you know actually having conversations that mean things sometimes it's difficult topics in this case it's just things that need to get hashed out um, nothing confrontational fortunately Let's see yeah so a lot of these things have this blue box around them, which means that's what I'm like. Um, I need to talk to other people about things, and mostly it's my husband. Let's see, pages. Yeah, you know, I think, eh, I'll leave that on here. I'll, I'll just, yeah, check. On project. Pages reorganize? Question mark. I think it's probably fine, and I might just decide to not do anything. Um, yeah, that needs to happen. All right, and then I'm trying to decide if any of these things need work tomorrow or not. I feel like I'm going to have to on Tuesday, tomorrow, like look at this list throughout the day as I decide how much time I have. Um, today I was able to get a lot of stuff done, but tomorrow I may not feel as motivated. So I will just, I think, do that. We don't have to do any meal planning for the foreseeable several days because we have a lot of leftovers right now. Um, so I think, man, that's kind of boring, but that's, that's where we are right now. Um, I do have some things here that are notes 
are um, the things that I am working on for um, my channel, my videos upcoming. And so I'm like, okay, yeah, these are the next videos that need to get worked on. Um, and therefore, like, I can work on them on this day to say this day. I think that's fine. Keeping in mind that, like, I also need to film another update tomorrow. I promised at the beginning of the video that I would film Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If things are boring again after tomorrow's update, I might just stop and just start editing. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm, I'm working on. I'm being very minimal with the layout and I'm trying to get really into the whole rapid logging and whenever I have anything that needs um, space, you know, anything that I just need like a scrap of note paper for, I'm just putting it down here if I can. So things here might be redundant or too granular really for like a weekly to-do list. Um, but generally that's, I'm trying to explain. That's what I did. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, I hated the lettering. I knew that as soon as I started doing it, I hated it. So I covered it up with washi tape and it looks abominable now, but it doesn't say going. So I prefer it. But yeah, at some point I will probably just redo this entire thing or maybe start it over, you know, on like over here. Probably over the course of tomorrow when I keep adding things. I'd rather add them to like a weekly list than the daily if I don't think I'm going to get it done that day. But ideally, I mean, maybe not ideally, but in like the purest form of the, the original Ryder Carroll system, you kind of would just put it on the daily. So maybe I'll try that and then migrate it over to a fresh weekly to-do list with the new day. I don't know. That's where I am, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Hey guys, it's actually two days later. I didn't get around to filming Tuesday and figured I would just show you what I did through the end of Tuesday and then on to Wednesday. So um, I used, again, my daily for a lot of note taking and stuff. It took up an entire uh, page again. I think that's kind of just coincidental. I don't think, I, I was not consciously limiting what I put on here to keep it to a page. Um, and if anything, I was maybe consciously filling up more space than I needed to. Um, I did a little bit of note taking about like which uh, gifts we need to get this month because we have a bunch of different gift giving opportunities coming up. Um, and then there's a couple other like brain dumpy type things. I considered putting these on my index and then thought, you know what, no, I'm just going to put them here. Um, and then by the end of the night, I went ahead and migrated them where they needed to go. I kind of processed everything uh, from the daily, from the day before, and from my weekly to-do list. So, um, the only two things I left on this to-do list, okay, three. These two things were, um, on my daily here and I have already done them. Did I? I guess not. All right. So that is something to note for myself for later is that one of the things on here that I circled in a color to sort of set it apart made me not notice it and almost forget to migrate it. So I basically have closed out this weekly to-do list and moved it over. I tend to find that cluttered to-do lists when they have a lot of things on them that I've already done, it just, it's like fighting through all of that to get to what I actually need. I much prefer to, more often than I need to maybe, more often than other people might want to, uh, I prefer to scrap that to-do list and move the tasks that are left on it onto a fresh one. So this is a lot less cluttered. There's only four things here, or sorry, five now, that um, I haven't done yet, right? Um, I went ahead and I did Again, the idea of a little quote or something at the top instead of <laughs> covering half the page in washi tape because I don't like what I'm doing, I just went for the fine tip side instead of the brush lettering. Um, this was something that happened Tuesday evening, I think. Um, my husband, for whatever reason, had Smash Mouth's All Star stuck in his head and started singing it in the kitchen and in the other room. Our uh, almost two-year-old daughter heard him and start, she, she heard Star, and so she started singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, because that's her favorite song. 
And so that's why it says that on top. Because I thought it was sort of inspirational. In a, an odd way. And it makes me smile because my family makes me smile. So I already crossed off a lot of the stuff on today's to-do list. A um, couple things here. This order groceries is something that I was in my head all morning. And I'm lucky it got written down. Um, and then there's a lot of things on here that are so small that if I were on like a pre-printed weekly spread, I would not be probably including them at all. My back was kind of bugging me. I wanted to use the foam roller. Lifesaver when you're in your, you know, later half of your pregnancy and you can't arch your back uh, properly. <laughs> also, you can't get down on your back to do it like laying down on the foam roller, but you can do it against a wall and it's amazing. <laughs> Just kind of decompress your spine. Highly recommend. Um, so yeah, it, like it took me a couple minutes, but I was like, I really want to do that. If I write it down, I will get it done and then I'll be happier because my back won't hurt. So I did that. Um, the things I didn't write down, actually, I have not been writing down events on my dailies. Um, cause I do have, uh, an event later this evening. It's like a video conference thing that we've been doing every Wednesday night. Um, that's not on here. I think probably just cause I'm used to it being on Wednesday nights at this point. And really I'm using this as a to-do list right now. Um, so that's where I am, I guess. Um, also though, and I, maybe I should have written it down as I was planning this out last night, I realized I didn't get the exercise video done yesterday because it's a special longer one and I can't just drop what I'm doing for half an hour instead of 15 minutes. And so I wanted to set aside time in the morning. I was going to get up half an hour earlier and do it first thing in the morning before getting the baby up. Um, and so I did set the alarm. But I never wrote down anywhere what it was for, and I did remember why I woke up early. But um, I, mean, I probably should have written it down, or, or something, set myself a reminder. Anyway, and then this freeze chicken thing, I still have to do it. But um, I was laying in bed last night, realized, gosh, the chicken is in there, it needs to be put in the freezer before it goes bad. Um, and I was like, it, I don't want to roll over because for whatever rolling over when you're pregnant is hard in and of itself i don't want to roll over turn on the light ruin whatever sleep inertia i've already accumulated um grab my pen open up the planner to the right page and write it down i'd rather just grab my phone which i was able to reach over and you know grab my phone and then i was just gonna um set a reminder for myself on my phone i've used that before hey google remind me to freeze the chicken all it did was Google the phrase, remind me to freeze chicken. Like that's helpful. And so I was really frustrated, ended up emailing myself to remind myself instead. <sighs> but then once I saw the email, I put it in here and it's fine. I'm going to do that next when I'm done filming. So this is where I am right now. Um, I am finding that just having as much space as I need to, to be as messy as I need to, as unorganized as I need to. And when I say unorganized, I mean like, who knows what's going to go on the rest of this page. It's not like, okay, this is the section where I put this. Um, I'm just moving down the page as I go, the next line, the next line. And it's working for me right now. I think I'm going to stick with this at least for another week or so. Um, because it's making me feel really productive. I'm getting a lot done. Um, it's probably a combination of like feeling like you need to get stuff done leads to needing a different to-do list and then also having a different to-do list leads you to get more stuff done. So hopefully this virtuous cycle will continue. So thank you for joining me for this slightly different weekly plan with me video. I hope you enjoyed it. it gave you some inspiration, ideas, or just, I don't know, kick in the pants maybe. Um, if what you're using for your weekly isn't working for you, shake it up. That's what I have taught myself for the last month or so. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, all right? Bye.